back again. Healthy Living with Ms. Renee the Barber. Now, let me start out by saying to you, happy Croptober. It's Croptober season. And today, we're making a recipe. It's very simple, quick, and easy made in our crock pot. And there's many things that we can be thankful for for October. Maybe the colors, the crisp air, the different scents, getting into our routine. But one thing that we do treasure is the crock pot of healthy, hearty foods. Oh yeah, the kind of foods that you put it in your crock pot, you set it aside, you do your chores, you watch TV, you come back and it's done. Not only is it done, but it's delicious. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to prepare our vegetables. As you see, we have zucchini, two zucchinis, they're re relatively small, they're not large, and two small yellow squash and an onion our salt, our pepper, and we're gonna put some butter in it. That's it. When we slice these up, we're not gonna be, we're just gonna slice them up. You don't have to be perfect. And then we're gonna toss them in our pot, uh, crock pot. Wait till you see my crock pot. It's a vintage crock pot that's well over 25 years old. But guess what? It gets the job done. And the recipe is going to be amazingly delicious. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. And this is one of those old school recipes, you know, uh, just like I said, some basic salt and pepper. Nothing too complicated. Everything here you can find at your local grocery store. You don't have to go anywhere else. We're going to slice this zucchini in half. Can you see that? Yeah, we're going to slice it right in half. Then we're going to chop it, right? I don't know if you like thin chunks or, hey, it doesn't matter. You like thin or you like zucchini? Whatever we do, right? Push that to the side and cut up our next one. How long do you think this is going to take? Less than 10 minutes. Uh-oh, look at me. Oh, well. <laughs> so what? We don't have to be perfect on this. We don't have to be neat. They don't have to be... Hey, it's, this is your recipe, okay? This is your recipe. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put our zucchini in our crock pot. Right in there just like that. Very simple. Now let's work on our yellow squash. We're going to cut it just like we did our, our zucchini. Look at that, two at a time. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah. Cut it right in half. And we're going to make big chunks again. Let's prepare our yellow onion. I hope everybody had a wonderful day today. No particular way we're cutting these. I'm going to cut it like just, just like that. However you want to cut it. You don't even have to dice or slice, right? No, not at all. And we're going to put our onions right in there just like that. How easy can that be? We're going to stir it up. We're going to add a teaspoon of salt. Teaspoon of black pepper. This is one of those meals that you made back like, you know, was not back like 25 years ago. Not real complicated, just very simple. Now we are going to put our butter in right there. Okay, so I'm going to put, um, I'm just going to put a half a stick. That's four, four tablespoons, okay? We're not going to add water. We already know that zucchini holds a lot of water. So we're just going to add our butter in. This is plant-based butter. Bam. Just like that. Just like that. We don't even have to stir it up. Well, we, we may want to get that salt and pepper. Let's stir it up just a little bit. Salt and pepper. 
This makes a great side dish. If you want to eat it by itself, do it. Go for it. Go for it. It's all about you. Bam. We'll be back in two, two hours. I do have it set on high. I'm gonna let you see my crock pot, okay? I've had it such a long time. All right, so this is my 25 plus year old crock pot. And today for today's recipe, I'm gonna put it on high, let it cook for just two hours. It's not gonna take long for the squash to cook. There it is inside, you see it? Just put it in there. Alrighty, so we'll be back in two hours. Like this is an old crock pot. Uh, it doesn't have a timer, doesn't have a clock, doesn't have any push buttons, uh, touch screens, or anything like that. Right? You can barely see the writing on there. It's been all look, look, look at all the scratches. Those are scratches from over the years. This thing is so old, the cord is turning yellow. But let me mention something to you about my crock pot. Okay, because I want to get it clear with everyone. A crock pot is not a slow cooker. Okay, a crock pot is different because a slow cooker has a base and then you put your container or, you know, your container like your ceramic container like this on top of the slow cooker's base and it heats from the bottom. Okay, like you'd have a base here and then it would heat from the bottom up right that's a slow cooker a crock pot is different a crock pot like you know i will take it's it's a container all of this is metal all the way around right this sits inside this container and it heats all sides right it heats on the sides and the bottom that's what makes it a crock pot all right all right so uh we'll be back in two hours Okay, stay with me now. Hey, if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Share, comment, and what? Yes, always hit that like button. All right, I'll see you guys in a few. I'll be back when this is finished. And then we can enjoy this recipe, this amazing recipe together. All right, I'm counting on you. Give it a good stir. Juice. Yeah. Well, it's about almost two hours. And it looks like they look like they're done. So let's go ahead and serve it up. bit of parmesan cheese on that. So is it true what they say? You are what you eat. So why not eat good? this with maybe some chicken I don't know some salmon some turkey mm -hmm. Just a little bit of crunch to it. 
like I said, this only cooked for about an hour and 45 minutes. I think the next time I make this, I'll do an hour and 30 minutes, an hour and a half at high. Mmm, delicious. So simple. I can't wait. If you guys decide to try this, hey, go ahead and let me know what you think. Mmm. So good. So good. And it's healthy. Oh, yeah. Here's the healthy living.